皆さんこんにちは。And welcome to Shogo's podcast. So, this is the Omake talk of the video where I talked about the two real last samurais.、Um, for those of you who have watched the movie, movie, the video, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't watched the main video yet, please take a look at it. It's inside the description box. I put the link there. So, so before I start talking about what I want to mainly talk about here today, I just wanted to again say, you know, in the past I made a video.、Um, Where I did a movie review of The Last Samurai. And there I did say, already say that it's a really good movie, and a lot of Japanese people、um, have been giving it really good reviews and such. But once again, I really thought that the movie The Last Samurai is a really good movie. It's based on true facts, on historical facts, and especially the fact that, again, Drew Brunette, the model of Nathan Algren in the movie, as I explained, is an e l d e r l y inside the The, um, the army, right? So he was a professional in shooting guns. And that's exactly what Nathan Elgren is inside the movie. And like these small things inside the movie are really based on historical facts. And I thought that was really, really interesting. And once again, I thought that it's a, definitely one of the movies that I can really recommend to everyone as a way to study about the samurai culture and history. Yep. So,、um, I wanted to also share two more episodes, two more、um, interesting facts that you can learn about to even more actually introduce,、um, enjoy yes, the, the story of the main video today. So, number one is actually early,、uh, in the main video, I said that Drew Burnett, once he returned to France, he was able to work again for the army. And that was because、um, the people admired the, the attitude of d r e m a n e t how he retired and quit the army first, and then he fought together with the samurai, right? His attitude of properly doing everything, you know, not、um, bothering or giving trouble to the France, French army, right? But also, there was actually a really interesting story that when he left the paper of resignation, when he said, I'm going to be quitting, he left a letter to Superior. That's what I said, right? But actually, what's really interesting is that some theories say that his superior actually knew that Drew Brunette was going to be leaving. So, Drew Brunette、um, was, of course, secretly leaving. Yes, and staying in Japan, yes. But it is said that his superior knew that Jibrina had that in mind, but he let him do it because he knew that his superior knew his, what should I say, how much he cared about the men he trained, right? So that was another reason why. So his superior actually tried to protect him back in France as well. So that was another reason why. Drew Burnett was able to work for the army again back in France. And I really thought that, of course, Drew Burnett was also a really、um, compassionate person, a very caring person, but also that superior, you know, that kind of understood him, yes, and cared about him and his wills, yes, is a really important character person inside this story as well, I thought, yes. And another point that's really interesting about this whole story of the Boshin War and the Sena War at the end of the Meiji, restor-、uh, the Meiji uh, Restoration, yes, the two civil wars during the Meiji Restoration, is that the Shinsengumi, the really famous Shinsengumi, actually comes into the story as well. So I didn't actually、um, explain it too much. I wrote it a little bit in the subtitles, but Again, the samurai who were working for the old shogunate, which were some parts of a few of the men were trained by Drew Burnett, right? They actually retreated to northeast Japan, actually. So originally they were working in Kyoto, like in the center cities, like in Edo and such, but of course they needed to run away from the new. new Westernized government, so they retreated, retreated to the northeast region. But that's exactly where Hijikata, the sub chief of Shinsengumi, was too. Yes, so it's really interesting. If you learn these parts of history, you will, you will notice that Shinsengumi, the Hijikata, was actually related to this story. So Drew m u n e t went to the northeast region as well, but actually, Hijikata of Shinsengumi was there fighting together with the old shogunate army as well, actually. Yes. So it's funny that Saigo Takamori, you know, the model of Katsumoto in the movie, and Drew b u r n e t t the model of Nathan a l g r e n were actually enemies. But Nathan a l g r e n s character, Drew b u r n e t t was actually allies with Hijikata, Shinsengumi, right? 
So if you start, you know, connecting the dots into a line, I thought that was, this is a really interesting thing that you can study about. Yes, about Shinsen Gumi as well. All right. So then everyone, thank you very, very much for watching the main video and listening to this podcast too. And I was very curious um, about any other movies that you would, you would want me to review, by the way. I've had quite a lot of requests for Kurosawa Akira's films. And I have like, you know, of course, the famous um, The Seven Samurais. I have Lang, for example, and a few other movies on my list too. But if you have any other um, recommendations for me to review on the movie reviews from Japan series, it'd be great if you can let me know. Okay? All right. So then, yes, and again, if you have any other questions about the story as well, please let me know in the comments. Okay? Then thank you so much for watching and listening. Goodbye, everyone.